Hello everybody and welcome to another OgreCast. I am Ogre and I'll be your host for this game of StarCraft 2 between Vladimir and apparently Iceman. Now, uh, I have not seen this game. I don't know what happens. I'm sure it's going to be filled with all kinds of excitement. Um, Vladimir is going to send his roach over and see that Iceman is nowhere in his vicinity at least. Uh, definitely on the other side of the map. Of course, us as the omniscient viewers that we are uh, know that he is crossways and they both scout each other's base and I believe I have sped up uh, for long enough. We're go we'll go at two times until uh, something interesting can possibly happen. Uh, we got a Latimer just droning up here. Uh, nothing really building for Iceman. Really fast bunker uh, going up right here at the expansion actually uh, so I guess that will qualify as something happening we are going to slow it down we'll see if he can get this bunker up without it getting spotted and indeed it looks like it will be um, his marine however is not on its way over there I would have sent that over to I mean no sense getting a bunker up unless you have something inside it to protect it from the zerglings so let's see if Iceman's actually going to make use of that or if he's just gonna leave it and then I guess I guess he's just leaving it to salvage um, you know if he he could have got four marines in there uh, you know taking out quite a few zerglings uh, look at this and, and he's repairing with an SCV it's so strange now he's got the marine coming across uh, this SCV can go inside that bunker um, but he's just gonna have his marine sit here uh, I think he's like he, he's not sure he wants to be there he'll retreat if he can he, he could pick off this overlord if he used these marines uh, you know he just there you go there you go finally he's got his marines uh, uh, okay. I mean, yeah, okay. He, now he's got some mobile marines, but why aren't they attacking this overlord? Um, he must be doing a lot of base work or something. Okay, he's got another barracks, a fa another factory coming up. He's only got, looks like, four SCVs on gas right now. Um, spine crawler coming up. Uh, he, he just doesn't quite finish off that overlord. Finishing that overlord, look at this, would definitely hurt Vladimir quite a bit by supply blocking him. Um, you know, hopefully Vladimir's got a couple overlords. No, just one started in production here. Uh, you know, it, it's so micro-intensive when you're getting harassed, I understand that. Um, but... Uh, I don't know. Uh, it, it looks to me like uh, Iceman could have done a lot better job. Now the spine crawler's up. Um, you know, he's not going to get these marines anywhere inside or anything like that. He could have been way more aggressive, I think, but he's just using it to slow down Vladimir, make him go off of one base um, and while he builds up. And sure, I guess if that's all the advantage that he was going for, he's done quite a good job of it. He's got one Reaper down here. Um, so, I, like, the Reaper could be hopping up there and harassing the drones. Maybe he's waiting for a couple more Reapers to reinforce. Yeah, here comes one now. Uh, we got the Infernal Pre-Igniter coming in a Hellion. Uh, I don't know. It just seems to me like Iceman's kind of all over the place. Uh, but, I mean, I mean, again, like, all I can say is this has got to be real and annoying to a Zerg. Uh, he <laughs> managed to get a drone over and he's expanding to the uh, other base across the way from him. So if he can get away with that and not get scouted, um, it's going to go a long way towards, uh, you know, convincing Iceman that he's got a much worse economy than he actually does. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how long he gets away with having this base um, over on the far side there. Now, uh, let's just take a look and see if Zergling speed... Where'd he... Uh, there, there you go. Yeah, it never went with Zergling speed or anything like that, so this Reaper could be kind of annoying. Um, 
you've got the Spire up for Latimer and a couple Mutalisks, which, um, you know, actually, if the Mutalisks fly around and get some map control, uh, they could be pretty annoying against the Hellions trying to move around, but Hellions are so fast, you know, even even the speedy Mutalisk, uh, it's pretty hard for them to keep up, so. Um, it, but actually, one of the things that Mutalisks are great for is intercepting these, like, stray guys like that, uh, the, the stray reinforcements, um, and yeah, look at this, like, you can do quite a bit of damage to the individual marines popping out, uh, stops that bunker from completing, um, it should really be taking out these marines one on one or one at a time. I understand that uh, going for SCVs and oh yeah, targeting the mule is a really good move. But look at this: that one marine is just doing a bunch of damage, and now he's got reinforcements. Uh, all these marines are out. Could have picked off another couple marines, but you know, all in all, great job doing some real solid damage there. Um, uh, you know, picking off that one marine in hindsight probably wouldn't have been a huge deal. Uh, so yeah, he chose to go for the SCVs, and and I guess you know it's just as good of a way to go if if you didn't know that the ten marines were coming back to help re reinforce anyway, it would have been yeah a good idea to pick off the marines one at a time. Um, but it worked out okay for him. He had to retreat at that timing anyways, so you know uh, nothing lost there. Uh, you know, th okay, now this is, uh, expansion is open, but, um, looks like he's gonna pump a mutalisk out of here. One of the things that I, I mean, normally I, I do hotkey all of my, um, hatcheries to one button and then just kind of spam units out of all the hatcheries at once, but when you're just starting to saturate, uh, something, like, these are all drones in production here, um, you know, it, it makes sense to just make your mutalisks out of this hatchery, and you need all your larvae here to make drones, so, uh, I just kind of do split up the production just when I'm droning up. Now, the mutalisks are flying out, uh, I mean, the main benefit of mutalisks at, uh,